would you take a look at this lighting? <laughs> That's right, we're actually recording in the daytime today, folks. No gremlin hours. I hate it so much. What is the word, YouTube? It is I, Fleep. And today, I'm here to talk to you guys about something that I once again find particularly interesting. So let me give you guys a little story, a little background for this video. So earlier today, I was playing some Overwatch. You know, as you do, being what I do best. <laughs> the number one Doomfist in the game. Nigga, did I just catch you on the B-shit? <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus! And I'm queuing into this match, and... I see that uh, enemy team, they uh, they got a tracer. Okay. So I says to myself, I go, this is going to be a little, uh, a little annoying. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was one of the least fun experiences that I've had on this game. And I've been playing tank on Overwatch 2. Tank, listen to me. I've been playing tank on Overwatch 2 for a very long time. Time. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a clear example of what I would like to call, or what we call in the business, fatherless activities. And so it led me to believe, because obviously cartoons are the only thing on my mind. I mean, look at my freaking channel, am I right? What cartoons would this kind of guy watch? Because clearly it's a manifestation of, on his psyche, right? Because he clearly has no parental figure. So today we're going to be discussing the worst parents in cartoons. Let's go. So obviously we can't just get straight into the worst characters. I mean, that's just not how you do a YouTube video these days, <laughs> right? We gotta tell, like, I gotta show you guys. There's gotta be a progression. So you need to understand where I come from when I call these characters bad or good. So we're gonna set some benchmarks. To be a good poster for this era, I'd like to go to the stand. Craig's mom and dad from Craig of the Creek. Now, if you watch Craig of the Creek, then you would know that this is a given, right? But for those of you who haven't, let me explain. You see, Craig of the Creek is... I may have some qualms with the show, don't don't get me wrong, <laughs> it's not perfect, but the parents of Craig Williams are uh, an example of what everyone strives to be. So Craig of the Creek's family, they don't just get good parents, they're great. These are great parents. Moving on. Now moving on up the list, we have the the kind of parents that, you know, they're not good, but there's definitely worse out there. So these are just the meh category, I guess we'll call them for parents. And I think nothing really exemplifies this. Uh, quite like Finn's parents from Adventure Time. Listen, right, there's a lot of guys, there's a lot of people out there who will look at me funny and be like, I thought you liked Adventure Time. What are you doing putting it here? I thought you would put it in great for sure since you liked your dick. And to those people, I just gotta say this. Like in a show does not automatically mean that you dick right. It's simple. Simple. On the other hand, on that, if you've watched Adventure Time, then you're probably thinking, oh, it's because he likes Adventure Time so much that he didn't put them in like the terrible parents category because they suck. And to be fair and honest with you, Finn's dad is goodness me gracious it's let's be real it's what steven's dad would have been if the rockstar thing continued to work out but the only redeeming faculty of this is the fact that finn's mom is a sweetheart she is an extremely nice lady who did as best a job at raising finn as she could i believe uh, in my humble opinion you know considering uh, the circumstances that befell them, she did the best that she could, right? And I truly believe that. The reason that she's not good enough to, you know, hoist up the whole familia is because, um, genuinely because, um, you know, she kind of, she kind of went cybernet on us, uh, downloaded her consciousness, bunch of bot. It's, it's, it's very strange, <laughs> okay? It's very strange and probably very traumatic. Uh, for my boy Finn, and so for that, they can't go any higher than that, but they're certainly not the worst out there. And finally, it's time. The Tracer from the start of this episode wasn't for these kind of characters being depicted, because I guarantee 
If I were to ask this tracer, what is your favorite cartoon? You know what they'll tell me, you know what they'll tell me. Family Guy. Ladies and gentlemen, Family Guy is a cult classic, okay? Uh, to not mince my words when I say this, even though South Park is way, way, way on top, Family Guy still is like cemented for like animated, an animation legacy, really. Uh, not because of the groundbreaking stuff it did, but because of just how long it's been around and how much pieces of media it has infiltrated. It's like the Minions, but if the Minions came out in 1980 something, I don't know when the uh, Family Guy dropped, but uh, that seems about right to me. <laughs> okay, you would think that, you know, the people that grew up in those eras and live in the era of today, surely they've gained some sort of influence from it. And it goes to show with the amount of fatherless behavior that is apparent in this day and age. People, because when I tell you out of all that I've seen, far and few parents come even close to the level of degeneracy that we see with Peter and Lois Griffin. We got the mom, who's an emotional wreck, a drunken wreck, a alcoholic on some days and then we got peter who is just the definition of a sociopath he has murked one of his own off bonds and it's not even to say that like these two are at least good together they are probably if i did <laughs> like toxic cartoon couples these guys would probably prank in the same place i'm not gonna be real i'm gonna be honest with you because they are sociopaths that are together because they're sociopaths, okay? Um, thanks so much for the recent support. Um, my Fiona and Cake video did a lot better than I was expecting it to, so very much thank you for that. I actually posted a video where I talk about the first and second episode of Fiona and Cake, which you will see on the end card to this video. But if you do end up enjoying that video, or if you did enjoy this video, then please say it with me and if you don't know what i'm gonna say then say it after me if you like the video like the video if you really like the video then subscribe i'm really trying to hit 200 subscribers for my birthday the 27th of september whoopee so if we can get that goal going i'd be extremely appreciative and very happy and i might have a little gift for you guys you never know you never know and until then i'll catch you guys on the flip side peace